a hat on. I'm not wearing blue jeans. I don't have on a funky t-shirt. I'm alligators and Rolex watches from head to toe. Yo, 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 yo. The, we're back. Or I'm back. Or maybe this is the first time. I don't know. But we're here to do a uh, an app build video with you guys. So we're going to take some of the stuff that you basically learned and we're going to convert it into the what we're going to call the, the dice app, the dicey app, the roll your dice app, whatever you want to call it actually, because uh, you know you can make it your own as you follow along with this video. So we're going to cover a whole bunch of things on how to build this, a couple different ways how to do things. So in order to start, first thing we're going to do is we are going to hit create a new Xcode project or uh, you can go up to file new and then project there's two ways to get to it and we are going to choose ios platform and we are just going to choose the the app or what they used to call the single view app dice app we're going to leave whatever your organization identifier is uh interface should be storyboard if it is swift ui you need to change it to storyboard language swift hit next all right, make sure you save it to your folder. All right, make sure you go to documents. Make sure you drop it down in your folder. Um, obviously, I don't want to replace it, so I'm going to dice app practice. Obviously, if you get that, you're probably in the wrong folder, so make sure that you know what's going on. Create, move it on to the next. Okay. And we are going to kind of start in the, the main area. And the first thing you're going to do is you are going to jump over to uh, Schoology and you are going to find the Dice App zip file. And you're going to click it and you're going to click it again. And it's going to download this folder into your download folder. Now, easiest way we can do this, all right, is we can either open it up here and then move it into your finder but if that has disappeared you go to your downloads um, if you need to change how it's looked at you can do date added and that will put down the most recent stuff we have the dice app so uh, if you're in this situation you can just drop it in documents um, and we're just gonna have to unfortunately replace that and then we're gonna move over to documents and we should be able to find it which we're not so sometimes you have to go down and just look for it and we are going to find Dice App, which has got all of your assets in there. So we're going to uh, put that in your in your Swift folder. We'll place that as well since I've done this so many times. And then we are going to select the first one. I'm going to close our Schoology. We're going to go to assets. Let's let's make sure that we're all correct here. We're going to select one of the images. We're going to hit command A, which is going to select them all. And then we're going to drag them in. Okay. So just we're just all we did was take these pictures and put them into the assets folder. So now they should all be set. This one has a weird name, so just if you want to change it, you can change it right in here. Um, you can just change this to, to casino. Uh, be, make it easier to find. You don't have to, but that's how you would change uh, a file when you when you drop it in. Okay, so we have all our files here. We're going to go back to main, and we're just going to do a kind of a quick setup here, um, and we're just going to kind of add in all the outlets. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the library. Library is the plus sign. So once you hit it, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to pull out um a bunch of image views so we can hold a bunch of pictures so we're going to take the first image view and we are going to literally put it across the entire screen here uh, and we're going to use that as our background um, so let's just change that right now so the image view across we're going to go up here we're going to go to image and we're going to choose the background so notice how the background is fit using uh, like kind of in the middle here. So if we kind of come over and we take a look at our content mode and our view, um, you can see that this is aspect fit. So aspect fit will take the size of the picture and fit it 
um, into the constraints of your your size here. So if you want to spread it out, you have a couple options. And the, the two options that I would use are scale to fill and aspect fill. Um, scale will actually stretch out an image, okay? If you, if, uh, considering that this is a solid color, it doesn't matter. Um, aspect view will actually zoom in and get you exactly what you need to be able to fill. So. Um, I feel that this is the, the better option in this case, but um, it doesn't matter if you click them either or. But when you have other pictures, you might it, it, it might matter. Okay, so we got the background all set, and we don't really have to do um, anything at all with it. Um, if you um, want to look over here, you can look at the alpha, and that just changes how solid the uh, background image is so obviously one is the the completely the the full opaque view and then it gets lighter and lighter you can see through so um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add out two more image views so I'm just gonna type an image again drag one out here and we are gonna make squares so we're gonna resize that we're going to drag out another one. We're going to resize this one as well because um, we're going to hold square dice images. And sometimes it's hard to kind of get, you know, the, the right sizes and where you want them. So beautiful thing here is over um, in the size inspector, you can actually adjust the position and change the size and the width of these. So if let's just say I wanted to do 180 perfect squares, we can do 180, 180, and it'll change the size of that and do the same thing with this one. 180, 180, and now they're perfect squares, okay? Now as far as the placement goes, kind of up to you um, how you want to do them. Um, you can have them closer, farther apart, to touching, touching the sides. You know, this is more up to your design and how it should look. I like a little space on the sides. So I am going to, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add another image view up at the top. Um, we're going to add in the casino picture, kind of make it look nice. Um, this one we can resize after we get the image in, and then we need to add one button at the bottom, and that will be our roll button. Um, so I'm going to drop that down. Um, I am going to drag the button across. Now, like I said, the button can be any way you want. Some people kind of put it in the middle. I like to spread it across the whole thing. Um, if you need to modify it, remember you need to go back to the attributes inspector here. Um, and you have the options of changing the um, font size and type. And you'll notice that these two things here, system and system, they need to be kind of in order, in order for you to kind of give yourself like a decent size to change these. Um, you could also do custom, custom, um, but they have to be the same. So you won't get these options if they're not the same. And then here you can actually like actually change like what you want the, the button font to look like. Notice that it gets rid of the point size. So drop a point size down um, so you can see it. Um, the, let's see, the background color here will give you if you want to change the background color uh, of the button, if you want it to like stand out. Um, the tint, I believe, will actually change the font color in this case for the button. Um, you know, and this is more up to you how you want it to look. I mean, this looks like it's like straight out of like Christmas. So, you know, I mean, whatever you want to, however you want to make it look, up to you. Now here, just for the time being, just choose a random image. You don't have to choose the same one I am. Um, and then here we're going to choose the casino if you renamed it or the long letters and numbers option if you didn't. And, you know, place it to where you like it. So maybe you want your dice a little bit further down um, so you can set that up. Maybe you want this a little bit bigger. Maybe you want it a little bit smaller. Um, really kind of depends on, on what you what you want your, your app to look like. So this is kind of the beginning uh, set up to what your Dice app will look like when it's done. So the, the design process part was, was fairly simple. 
now what we're going to do um, is we're going to head over to the next video and in the next video we're going to connect all our outlets and buttons to code and then we're going to start calling in some code in order to get these things to work okay so hop on over to the next video when you're ready and we'll begin uh, learning about how to connect outlets and buttons to code and then program them